NSAA Review, presented by the National Soccer Coaches Association of America, the largest soccer coaches organization in the world. The NSCAA is dedicated to providing the best in soccer coaching education and membership services and benefits. Visit www.nscaa.com for more information. The NSCAA continues its 20-game college game of the week package on FSC with this exciting Big East clash between Louisville and Notre Dame. What a Big East matchup we've got for you. Steve Bell joined by Keith Tabatsnik, who is very familiar with Big East soccer. 22 years with Georgetown, two-time Big East Coach of the Year. And what a way to kick off Big East play here with a great matchup. Well, absolutely. I mean, anytime you got a Big East matchup at Notre Dame with Louisville, it's one of the best in the country. But Louisville, after last year's season, okay, going to the final in the, in the uh, country, the runners-up losing to Akron in the championship game. Notre Dame unbelievable at home by the way last year they didn't lose a big east game at home and this is louisville's biggest problem they got they're zero and six here at notre dame so regardless you know whether you're with a runners up in the nation or not this is a tough place for louisville to come into play however louisville picked to finish first in their division of the big east notre dame picked to finish second in their division of the big east yeah, a lot of news in the big east more on that in a moment but this week in college soccer some exciting college coaching news as well well absolutely we'd have to give a big shout out to boston university coach neil roberts neil with his 300th career win a come from behind two to one victory over university of massachusetts neil congratulations many more victories to come we hope for you and we're talking about the fsc package next week an exciting game it is Duke at UNC. Now, we saw Duke a couple weeks ago. They got shut out by UVA. Ever since then, what has happened, Steve? 13 goals in three games. They're on a tier. They're ready for UNC. UNC, however, a tough match. They defeated UVA this weekend 3 to nothing. so they're definitely ready for that game. Also, uh, just a scheduling note is that the game that was canceled with the College of Charleston because of the hurricane rescheduled. Charleston will be hosting Wake Forest on October 11th, a Tuesday night game for Fox Soccer Channel lot there, but let's get back to Big East. That's where we are tonight. Big matchup. You've got Notre Dame, as you mentioned, undefeated against Louisville here at home. Louisville 17 straight unbeaten in Big East play, and this is a big one. It's absolutely a big one, and of course, uh, the Big East is big news lately because of the conference. Uh, I guess the, the rumors and the shakeup and what's going to happen in the future, and we certainly don't know. It's been one of the strongest soccer conferences you know, in the country for a lot of years. It was developed as a basketball conference in 1979, then became a big football conference, and now you know, if we, uh, you know, we know we're not making the decision in soccer on what's going to happen in the future. But one thing we do know, Steve, is that right now it is a fantastic soccer conference. Seven of the top 25 teams in the NSA this week in the Big East Conference. Perfect segue for me. Let's take a look at the NSCA Continental Tire Top 25. You said it as you look at the top 25, three in the top 10. You've got Connecticut, Louisville, and Boston College creeping in the top 10. Yeah, they do, and I think Connecticut got a great, great shot. Number three straight in there, 7-0. No goals against, no goals allowed this year. He said North Carolina with a big 3 up and win over UVA. And you see Indiana and Central Florida still on the and rounded out by Boston College of the ACC. Look into the next 10, and 13 is the lucky number. Talk about the 13th ranked team in the country. Well, Santa Barbara, 13 is the big number. It was a huge number the other night, 13,000 plus at Santa Barbara uh, in their win over San Diego, a 3 nothing win, and we will be at Santa Barbara a couple times later this year in the Tech South that are huge again out there. Look down the line, UCLA is on a roll now as well, winning this week, they're now 5-2-1, and, and Northern Illinois uh, moving up into the top 20 in the number 20, uh, having another great start to this season. Couple teams that jumped into the top 25, one you're very familiar with, uh, Georgetown breaks yeah, the top 25. Absolutely, and the Hoyas had a big victory over uh, Villanova this weekend to open their Big East, and with South Florida, the two Big East teams, and of course, Furman uh, rounding out the bottom of the top 25. That is the NSCAA Continental Tire Top 25, innovative technology, driving confidence. Find out more at ContinentalTire.com. How about our of the week? Philip Oswe, Ghana, the senior midfielder, posted three goals and had an assist in two games last week. Tuesday scored his first goal of the season in a 2-0 win over number 12, Virginia. In the second half, Oswe scored twice in a three-minute span, scoring on a rebound, and then later converted a PK. The point total was the midfielder's most points in a contest since posting seven in his first game with the Flames in a 10-1 route of Concord back in September 1st of 2009. He's the men's player of the week. How about on the women's side, Katie Stengel, the sophomore from Wake Forest, 
out of Melbourne, Florida. Stengel led the Demon Deacons to an unbeaten week that included a home field win over third-ranked Florida State in their ACC opener and a road win over South Carolina. Sophomore who leads the ACC with 11 goals already this season, almost single-handedly led the Demon Deacons past the Seminoles in Thursday night's televised game, scoring both goals in that 2-0 win. She followed up with a goal and a 2-0 win at South Carolina that extended her point scoring streak to five games. Stengel's 11 goals through the first nine games put her only five shy of Wake Forest's single season record of 16 goals. And by the way, she had that record as well. Welcome back to the University of Notre Dame. We told you that the Big East Conference was the strongest in men's soccer, and they did not disappoint. Great battle here between two top-ranked teams, but it was the Fighting Irish 17th-ranked team in the country who beat the Louisville Cardinals, the fifth-ranked team in the country. We talked about that streak, and Louisville has been unable to beat Notre Dame here in South Bend. Let's take a look at the highlights in the 90 minutes that uh, that was to be as Notre Dame came out flying. Yeah, and it was Amanda coming down the right side the second time in the first four minutes of the game. And he puts the ball across. It's O'Leary with the shot, and he follows up his own rebound there. Bordeaux could not hold it. He gets in fourth minute in. It turned out to be the only goal of the game, although they almost had another chance shortly after this. Harrison Schiff comes in, plays the ball into Ryan Finley, a shot, and there's a great save by Boudreaux to keep the game at 1-0 before the half. And I'll tell you one thing, in the second half, it was uh, Louisville came out. They ended up out shooting, uh, out shooting Notre Dame 20-9. Here's the thing. De Leon, he was the player of the match, an exciting player. And this back heel in there, Vitalis trying to get on the end. Will Walsh, who had a few big saves for Notre Dame in the second half, keeps things out of the net there to deserve the shutout for Notre Dame. Great matchup in Big East play. And we got another fantastic matchup as you look at an ACC battle. Next NSEA College Game of the Week, North Carolina versus Duke. That's next Friday, September 30th, 7 p.m. Eastern, live on Fox Soccer. This game was presented by the National Soccer Coaches Association of America, the largest soccer coaches organization in the world. The NSEA is dedicated to providing the best in soccer coaching, education, and membership services and benefits. Visit www.nscaa.com for more information.